Hi everyone, that's Reefer here and welcome to this latest Focus Friday video. Today I'm going to show you one of the fish in my tank and that would be the fox face. The fox face is a fish that is largely dependent on green food so it likes algae a lot. That makes it a very popular fish for people just starting out with their reef tanks. And also it's um, a fairly large fish that's not that expensive and it comes in a variety of colors. The two main colors are uh, yellow with uh, black and white and grayish. And the, the yellow one is called the, the um, Ciganus vulpinus and the yellow gray one is called Ciganus magnificus. So there's a difference and the grey ones usually are a bit more expensive than the yellow ones. So let's look into this fish. So as you can see it's right here. This is the, uh, the fox face. Um, it's a bit camera shy so we'll try to follow it around the tank and hope that it won't uh, be in the back the entire time. But let's see. So this fish is, uh, as you can see, already quite large. Uh, when I first bought it, it was just a few centimeters, three, four centimeters. These fish tend to grow quite, quite fast. Um, uh, this is already my third one. In the past I had another yellow one. And then before that, I also, uh, after that I had a gray one. And now a yellow one again. Um, in the end, these fish are very useful since they eat a lot of green foods, so uh, algae mainly. Uh, and when they do, they uh, of course they're very useful if you have nuisance algae or something. They also like um, to feed on uh, on sheets of uh, of algae that you can buy in the store, and they will generally like that a lot. They're also quite a big fan of this uh, mustic. One of the other uh, main reasons that people buy this fish is that uh, they also like bubble algae and bubble algae can grow into a pest quite uh, quite quickly so this uh, fish will keep that under control. So one thing you need to um, keep in mind is that they can become quite large as you can see this one is already uh, over 10 centimeters I'd say 12 13 maybe um, so make sure that your tank is uh, large enough to uh, to fit one of these or otherwise be sure to have a backup plan because in a couple of months it will uh, grow larger and larger and you'll need to find a new place for it to uh, to stay so it's a very useful fish um, I think it looks rather nice as well but it's mainly uh, dependent on your uh, personal taste um, it's, a, it's a quite easy fish to keep they're not very prone to disease so it's a, it's a quite hardy fish that's fun to watch unfortunately it's a bit camera shy so I cannot show you it the entire time but it will come around there it goes. Uh, there it is. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. Uh, and it's gone. So one of the things you uh, need to, to take into account is that this fish might in the end uh, develop a taste for corals. So it's uh, not a reef, reef safe fish per se. I'd say there's about 50% cha chance that they will eventually develop a taste for uh, for corals. I've seen it uh, eat on Acanthastrea, but I've also seen it eat on uh, Zoanthus, so buttons. So, uh, dependent on wh when whether you want to take that risk or not, that's uh, something you need to uh, to keep in mind before buying this fish, or at least, and my experience is that when they are young and small then they're perfectly fine, they're reef safe, they won't eat any of your corals and then when they grow older and more hungry 
but because these really are uh, very hungry animals, uh, they might eventually start nibbling on your corals. So mine eats, um, like I mentioned before, sometimes I add uh, sheets of uh, dried alga, which they like. They like the mustic, but they also like meaty foods like mice and krill. So uh, this fish is very uh, fond of uh, mice and krill. It will even eat it out of my hand. So whenever I'm feeding, uh, usually I use a net to feed, but sometimes I feed from my hand and then it will just come to my hand and uh, eat it out of it. So in the end, whenever I need to catch this fish, it will be very easy since it will uh, <laughs> automatically come to me to feed and then it's easy to, to grab it with a net or something alike. So that's the basic info that you need to uh, know about this fish. So it's quite a hardy fish, they're quite easy on the diet, uh, they're uh, a nice fish to see in your tank, the yellow pops out, so it's a nice color to have in your reef tank, yellow. Um, for corals, corals, yellow corals are a bit harder to find. Yellow fish are easier to find. For example, a yellow tang, or these uh, um, antias, or even the uh, blue hippo tang, which has a yellow tail. So um, I, I wouldn't say on even the copper band, which you've seen before. Oh, <laughs> some person, somebody was afraid that my copper band wasn't in my tank anymore. Well, as you can see in this video, it's still there and uh, alive and kicking. And doing very well still. Um, also another thing I want to highlight is that the uh, the sarcopiton uh, soft coral toadstool whatever you want to call it is doing fine. Uh, here's the, the definitive proof that it's still doing fine. No need to worry it's here. And one other thing I want to mention is that uh, last uh, week I bought a gimbal, so I'm using that at the moment. I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but the video should be uh, somewhat smoother um, since it's uh, my phone is attached to a gimbal, which is a Zhiyun Smooth 4, and uh, I still need to uh, get a hang of it a little bit more. But uh, for now, it's uh, I think it's working and uh, it's easier for me to uh, move around and uh, play with it a little bit and here's the fox face again so right now it's uh, it's showing really well Well, that was it for this week. Um, there's nothing much more to tell about this fish. I've told you about the diet, that it's a quite an easy to keep fish. The fact that they're not always reef safe, but usually they are. And, um, well, they're quite friendly fish to watch other fish as well. So no issues there. So let's... Uh, Let's end it with that. I hope you enjoyed the video um, and uh, I'll see you again soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.